Hi, this is Mike Peterson from Challenge Island, Oakland County East, and welcome back to another one of our Steamtastic Fridays. Today we're going to tackle the M in STEAM, which stands for mathematics. So today I'm going to show you a couple of tricks we can do, almost like a magic trick, but there's a lot of math behind it, actually. So what we're going to experiment with today is what we call a Mobius strip. So if you haven't heard of a Mobius strip before, that was named for a mathematician back in the 1850s, which is a pretty long time ago. But actually, Mobius strips go back almost a couple thousand years. In fact, if you look at mosaics or art from back in ancient Rome, they had Mobius strips way back then. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a Mobius strip and then show you some of the cool tricks you can try doing with that and experiment with it. So also to a modern day connection to the Mobius strip is actually the recycling symbol. So if you look on your garbage cans or look around town, you might see a picture like this. This is actually a Mobius strip. So, so when I show you how to make it, you might see a connection between that and this picture. All right, so what's special about a Mobius strip, it's a basic shape, but there's something kind of unusual about it. So most of the time when we make a, a loop of paper, it's got an outside and an inside to it. So for example, this is a regular loop of paper. This is not a Mobius strip. But if you look at this on the outside, I drew a blue line. So if I look all the way around here, you can see there's a blue line all the way around. On the inside of it, if I turn it inside out here for a second, you'll see there's a green line on the inside. So the Mobius, so a, a normal loop has an outside and an inside to it. A Mobius strip though technically only has one side to it. So you might wonder, well, how could something have just one side? That doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and make one and let's see if that really works or not. So a couple ways you can make a Mobius strip. If you happen to have any um, strip of paper like this, like cash register tape, that works really well. But if you don't have that, don't worry about it. Another way you can do it is just with a piece of paper, a scissors, and a stapler. So what we need to do is we need to make strips of paper that are about a couple inches long. That gives us plenty of, a couple inches wide. That'll give us plenty of paper to work with here. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to make about three strips here. Should be enough. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect them together. So it kind of makes a loop like I did here, but there's going to be a very important trick at the end of it. So keep paying attention here. So what we'll do is we'll take our strips, we're going to connect them together to make that loop. And we'll start with a simple one here. So you can connect them together with just two staples. So just one on each side. So we'll connect the first two together like that. We'll take the next two pieces, connect them together in that same way. this side and this side. So I've got my big long strip here. When I go to make the loop though, one very important thing I need to do, instead of connecting it like a normal loop, like a paper loop, I need to put a one half twist into it. So instead of connecting this way, I'm gonna take one side of it and give it a little twist. So just one, one time around and then I connect it. All right, so go ahead and connect it now. And now we have our Mobius strip. So if I, if I play with this just right, you can sort of see a recycle symbol in here. So that's where that symbol came from. So now let's check and see how many sides this has. So you think, well, had, the paper had two sides, so this should have two sides. But let me go ahead and start drawing. I'll use my green marker here. So I'm gonna start drawing from what looks like the outside of this. I'm gonna start drawing all the way around here. So this doesn't need to be fancy, but just to demonstrate it here. So I work my way all the way around here. I'm kind of back to where I started here, but let's see what happened. So I made it all the way back one loop around, but now I'm on this side of it instead of this side. So I started on this side, but now I ended up over here. So let me just keep, keep working my way around. So I'm still kind of on one side because I'm still covering a new part of the paper. I keep drawing all the way around my loop here. Eventually get back to where I started, almost there. Okay, I finally made it back to where I started, so I'll go ahead and connect that. I'm back where I started, but look, I've actually drawn on every side of the paper, even with just one line. So, so technically, I just have one side to this Mobius strip. So now, here's where the fun starts. So what I can do now, let's see what happens if I try cutting this in half. So you think I've got, if I cut it in half, I've got one loop, cut it in half, I should get two loops. Let's see what happens. So, 
So I did two staples. So what I'm gonna do each time I get to a set of staples, I'm gonna keep working my way around and cut in between those staples each time. So here's, here's my first lab. So I got my first set, come around to the second set, and come around to my last set. Okay, so here I go. I'm ready to connect it here. All right, so I should have two loops, you'd think, but watch what happens, kind of like a magic trick. I just have one big loop. So since I only had one side, I end up with one big loop of paper when I do that. So that's part of the magic of a Mobius strip. So, so go ahead and try this at home. There's a couple different things you can try. I'd encourage you to try doing that. One other thing you can do is when you make that initial strip, put three staples into it instead of two. Try going in between a different set of staples and see what happens. Another fun thing you can do is instead of putting one twist into it, try two twists or even three twists or four and keep trying that. You're going to get some pretty crazy shapes by the time you're done with this. So please have some fun this week with those Mobius strips. And thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.